Hi everyone, Eileen here. Okay, um, I'd like to share this uh, topper with you today. I shall make it into a card later on, but for now I just, uh, I've got a, a little bit of time, so I just want to show you how I made it, as I promised. And it uses a brand new stencil from Sweet Puppy Stencils. Uh, it is on their website. It's designed by uh, the fabulous Emma Cronin, who is such a talented lady. And um, it's called, well, I'm going to get this right, Snowflake Flourish Bauble. And it's really lovely. Now, I'm using this with inks, and uh, obviously you've got to wash those off. So be careful, because this is stainless steel. And stainless steel stencils can really cut. So never use your fingers when you're washing all the paste and everything off use a brush and off we go multifarious cardstock now i'm using that because i'm using a fair bit of ink and it's slightly thicker than the paper mill direct cardstock that i normally use <clears throat> multifarious is from lavinia stamps and it's 330 gsm and the size of the card that I'm using is 16 centimetres by 11, which is virtually the size of the stencil. There was a, a, a little bit of more overlay of the cardstock top and bottom. So that's the cardstock. Now I'm putting it onto my homemade stencil station. Magnetic sheet. Um, just going to size up the stencil onto the cards so i've got a border at the top and the bottom but not the sides it's sort of pretty snug to the sides i'll pop that down there let's check that you can see it or you can and stencil tape because i want to protect the card there <clears throat> and a bit more there because i want to protect that piece at the bottom and I'm also going to do the sides, just in case there's a slither of ink gets underneath there, or here. Because it's absolutely vital that your image is crisp and um, clear when you take the tape off, so that you can then do the stamping and it looks really good. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, brushes. I'm using makeup brushes and along with distress inks, iced spruce, wild honey, festive berries, and aged mahogany for shadow and uh, highlights. Be low lights, I suppose, really, with a dark colour. Don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> It's a contrast. So I spruce to begin with and the makeup brushes. And I'm also going to put on these magnets because I really want this stencil to grip this magnetic sheet. So starting off with ice spruce and with ice, uh, any of the uh, distress inks that you're using, Try and ensure that the uh, ink isn't too wet because it will leak underneath the stencil. So I'm, take some of the ink off if you have to. So this, isn't, this pad isn't too bad. But I'm going up from the bottom, not over the whole stencil, just go around the outside and come in from the sides and down from the top. If it gets over the um, rest of the image where there's allegedly supposed to be ribbon, <laughs> doesn't matter. And the bow, it doesn't matter. Let that go, but try not to cover all of your image in the main body of the, the um, stencil because that's where I'm going to put the contrasting colour. If your ink pad is really wet, then put one layer down and then move off elsewhere and do another layer before going back to give you a, a more intense colour. 
by adding more layers if that's what you want. But if you put one huge layer down it in one go, it will be too wet, it will saturate with ink and it will leak underneath your stencil. And I'm being fairly firm with this brush. Okay, that will do me. Wild Honey's next. Change brushes. And again, this pad is a bit wetter than the other one, so I'm taking some off. And now I'm just kissing the cardstock. I'm not um, being heavy-handed at all. Holding the head of the brush and just in a circular motion, as you can see. And just adding a bit more so that you've got a, a total contrast and some really pale light areas towards the middle, which is where your stamped images will be. That will do. So wild honey can go. On to festive berries. This is a fairly wet ink pad, so very lightly now, a layer at a time so that I know it won't leak under the stencil. Move my magnets out of the way and replace them as I need to. Taking it down to the streamers or the ribbon at the side. Need to move that down. Covered up some of the ribbon there. And let it allow it to sort of creep in on top of the ice spruce on your bauble. And just allow it to creep in all the way around. So to give a sort of a red tone on top of the grey. And that will bring it in when you've got the rest of the red in the on the rest of the image. Be careful about these sort of branches, foliage, pine needles or whatever at the side because the channels on those are quite small. You want to make sure they're covered but at the same time not your ink is not too wet so that it leaks everywhere under them. Okay, I think that I've got them all now. Now I'm going to give another layer of ink down here because the other one's probably dried by now to make that area a little more, give it more depth. Now I'm going to add another layer of the red on these to give more depth. Move that out of the way. And we'll pop it back. Like so. And then I'm moving on to aged mahogany which is a lovely red and that will give it more depth and more contrast so starting at the top not going to go all over this side and I'm not I'm trying to avoid the bauble now I've got enough red on that but I do want the ribbon to get a bit but mainly it's this top area there just the uh, top underneath the berries no. just got another bit there okay now we're back to ice spruce I'm going back to that because I want to bring it down a little more and also put some in this area here so that it blends into the red. And I'm going in sort of a circular motion so it comes in from the side of the bauble and you get this so it makes it look round. <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to do anyway. <laughs> more here a 
And then finally, just to give it a quick all over blend again, onto wild honey. And give it that really good blend so it smooth it all out. That will do. Let's put these out of the way. Take off the magnets and then keep your fingers crossed that there's no leakage underneath. So you want a nice, crisp, clean image. Mind your fingers as well. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. Straight into water with your stencil and be careful how you wash it. Pop that out of the way. And then we're going on to stamping. So I need to stamp that. Just going to rub my fingers on a damp towel so that I don't get ink everywhere. Bit of copy paper. Pop that down on that and we're ready to go. And the first image that I'm putting on is the stag. He is lovely. Lavinia stamped stag. Gentle tapping. He's a solid silhouette of an image, so I just want to make sure that he's covered. And I'm just going to take off the ink around the top of the stamp egg block. And then he's ready to go. And there's a, 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 a snowflake at the bottom. And I'm aiming for him to stand on that, because if I can get him on that then his antlers will just fit in the uh, bauble. Down he goes, just let him rest a moment, let the ink soak in, and then down and up. And there he is. Oh, I've missed a bit of him there. Never mind, I'll come back to that in a moment. Let's just damp that down. Right, I've missed a bit there, so I'm just going to pop that in. That's it. That will do him. If you notice, I'm using a crayon. You can use a bit of the ink itself, but with a crayon, it gives me um, more control. Okay. Uh, next, it is the trees now, and they are also from Lavinia Stamps. It's a set of um, sort of trees stroke bushes. That's the first stamp I'm using from a set called Tree Scene. And you get four single trees and then this set of bushes at the bottom. And this is what I'll be using first along with First Fine Claire Twilight, which is a lovely blue. And it will be, I'm taking off one, two, two generations, so I'm just using the third one. I'm just checking you can see and then going down quite cl low to his body and going across pressing quite firmly so that you get the bushes or you can get to see the the uh, shrubbery I suppose it is or the bushes in the background and then without re-inking going up again to the top of the bushes and not so heavily this time just pressing down so you get a whisper of them and you can just see them so this is the first set here you can just see them behind him and then you can just see the next impression there and that um, that that will give me 
uh, I think enough. I'm going to put, see if I can get this pressing down heavily on this side. If I can get, yeah, that's good. So it gives the appearance of a forest in the background when you, when you use these bushes and you stamp multiple times on top, uh, going up um, on top of each other. So it looks as if there's a forest behind him. But I, I just want there to be a sort of um, a hazy look. I don't want it to be too uh, in your face with that. He is the main image and I'd like him to stay prominently in the foreground. Now saying that, the next one that I'm going to do is a single tree from the same set from Lavinia. And I'm going to pop him down, pop that down. It's uh, first generation and it's uh, nocturne. I'm sorry, I've done this. I've done it with the blue and I don't want the blue. Oh, good job I checked. So nocturne black for this one. Yeah, nocturne black, gentle tapping. Move the excess around the edge there. And then I'm just going to pop this down first generation beside him. Yeah. And then without re-inking, I'm going to move over and up a little bit so that this one is in the background more. Like so. And then without re-inking, I'm going to take off the trunk of the tree, if you can see what I'm doing. Taken off any surplus ink there, and I'm just going to pop that down there so that it fills in a little bit of a gap there. And then moving over, again, there's no ink on that trunk, and it looks as if there's more shrubbery coming along, but you've just got... Um, a slight line of it, uh, outline of it, the tree, without really seeing a lot of the image. And again, that side as well. <clears throat> now, the opaqueness of my stag has gone a little on that. As I've laid the stamp down, then I can see it's taken some of the ink off from this area. So I'm just going to pop that back in again. I'm using a pencil, crayon, rather. So just very, very lightly putting that back in. Because I need him to be right to the forefront of this with the rest of it going into the background more. Yeah, that's good. That will do. Okay, and then I'm going to give him a, a bit of stuff to stand on, which I didn't do in the original card, but it's always nice to see that. Okay. And the trees can have a little bit too. So you've got an indication of a forest in the background, but you haven't got the images that are really clear and... Um, and Chris, because um, that's the look that I was going for there. Um, plus, the next and the last thing is, well, there's two things to do, but one, this one first. This is enamel accents. I'm uh, just going to give it very tiny um, green for Seven, eight, nine. That will do. And the final thing is, I've got a smidgen of ink there on the side that I don't want, and my eye is just going to it. So I'm going to use my um, Tombow Mono Sand Eraser for ink, number 512 Alpha, and that's 512A, and with this cardstock, it works very well. It doesn't um, tear it. It just removes the ink. As long as you're gentle, 
You do it in layers if you have to. And then I've got the brush to remove it. One layer at a time until it's all gone. And I think that came from my fingers. But that that will go now. Okay. So I think I'm done. Regarding the uh, berries that are here, you can, if you wish, put glossy accents on or some glitter or, or whatever. But to be absolutely honest, I'm quite happy with it like that. But it's your card. And if you want to add a bit more, add some more interest, I think that would be a really good idea. Thank you for looking today. Thank you for being with me. I've really enjoyed showing you this card. I hope that you do have a go and you enjoy making it. I won't be with you tomorrow, Friday, because I'm uh, getting some other stuff ready to show you over the weekend. I will be um, doing some Lavinia Stamps videos on Saturday and on Sunday, but I won't see you on Monday. So not tomorrow, but see you Saturday and Sunday. Have a nice day. Thank you for looking. Thank you for all the kind comments. Stay safe. Bye for now.